This is very much unknown territory we're going into, trying to encounter tigerfish underwater. Because time is short, um, what I'm doing, I'm effectively going to chum the water with some of the tigerfish's normal diet, small fish. So I've got um, a few handfuls of this, and I'm going to throw that into the water and see how they respond. And I'll be in the water with them. I've no idea how chumming the water will affect the tigerfish, but I'm hoping they're still here. If they do turn nasty, I'm ready to run for the boat. I'm starting to wonder what will attack me first. Amazingly close to some tigerfish. But almost as soon as I see them, they're gone. I'm just looking at the water temperature. It's 66, which is actually not good news. According to Brand, the temperature when the croc starts to wake up a little bit is 64. So we're slightly on the edge of what we should be doing. I'm pushing my luck, but I want to know if tigerfish are man-eaters. And I'm too close to pull out now. Just opening the fish bag. I do wonder about the uh, advisability of being down here with a bag of bloody chopped up fish. Within minutes, the tigerfish are back. And this time, they're coming in to check me out. They're getting closer, they're getting closer and closer all the time. I brace myself for the jaws. And then... Nothing. I'm in plain sight of perhaps 50 hungry tigerfish, yet they're refusing to touch me. This is really quite incredible. They're so bold underwater, coming so close. It really shows that hunger overrides all other emotions. In theory, I'm an easy meal, but the fish seem more curious than murderous. They've got the jaws and teeth to attack me, but plainly they don't see me as food. I'm simply not on their menu. So what about those rare stories where people have been attacked? The victims of the overturned boat and the migrant workers mauled in the river. So in other conditions, could tigerfish take down a person? The answer may lie in the river itself. My experiment tells me that as long as tigerfish can clearly see what they're dealing with, we're safe. But visibility is rarely so good. Imagine more cloudy water conditions when they can't make out an entire human shape, just disembodied hands or feet flashing through the water in front of them. Factor in the way they hunt in packs, their instinct to bite first and ask questions later, and their boldness to all pile in once the first fish has taken the first bite. In those conditions, I think it's true to say that I wouldn't feel so happy to be in the water with them. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.